So Washington County, along with every other county in the state, uh, completed redistricting uh, for 2022, which means that the ballot that you receive uh, during the primary election will look a little bit different in the terms of maybe the JP district you're in, the state house or state senate district. So it's very important for voters to go to a website called Voter View, which is through the Secretary of State's website. And that will show you um, what your new precincts are, what your new district relationships are, and you can also view a sample ballot there as well. So it's really important to take the time to look that over so that when you go to the polls on election day, you're aware of which offices you're actually going to be able to vote on. Okay, now there are also some districts that have changed because of the census and uh, for the first time, I believe um, in a while or forever in ever, um, we have a mostly Hispanic district um, in the Springdale area. Tell us a little bit about that and um, if there are any changes that uh, people are expecting to come from that, maybe a change, a shift in uh, politics or whatnot. So, you know, we don't really know uh, what the outcome of that will be, certainly until after the election. And at that point, we'll be able to track. Now, we don't track numbers for uh, registered voters in, in terms of their ethnic group. And so we don't actually have that information. But we will be able to tell, did that area vote uh, for one particular party over another particular party? And of course, that information will be available to us as soon as the election is over, we can tell in those districts um, and in those precincts uh, if there was a change from one uh, year to the from a previous year.